Hey buddies, I want to go over some very basic rhythm exercises. Basically drum set day one applied to the harmonica. I learned this stuff when I started playing the drums when I was 12 years old, so well over 10 years ago. I'm going to be playing a C harmonica. I'm going to be using a metronome. Rhythm is equally as important as music theory. I'm going to explain how a note is broken down into smaller groups of notes, starting with a quarter note. So let's go 75 beats per minute. Pick any note in your harmonica. It's great to practice with all of the notes of your harmonica. I'm going to play the two draw and just play it in time with the metronome. Very simple. Now let's do eighth notes. Very simple. After eighth notes, we got eighth note triplets. Triplets are a very important aspect of blues music, mainly because a lot of blues is played with a shuffling rhythm, uh, and, and even a slow blues has got that. It's got a very triplet feel to it, and to a drummer that can be interpreted as a 6-8 or a 12-8, not to get too much into it, but a different time signature, but it can be written and, and interpreted as 4-4 four, four with a triplet feel to it. One is triplets are used very heavily in blues. You know, maybe you don't know what the hell a triplet is, but I would bet my last nickel if you're playing blues on the harmonica, you're already using some triplets. Maybe you've never seen what you're playing written down, but I bet my last nickel you're you're playing some triplets in there. Let's do eighth note triplets, 75 beats per minute. So you're taking a quarter note, taking each beat of the metronome and breaking it into three to form an eighth note triplet. If you took that quarter note and broke it into two, you'd have two eighth notes. If you took that quarter note and broke it into four, you'd have sixteenth notes. Into six, you'd have sixteenth note triplets. You can even break it into five, which is getting a little bit into the jazz drumming world. Quintuplets, don't worry about quintuplets unless you're getting into jazz drumming or marching snare or something like that. 75 beats per minute, we just did eighth note triplets, now let's do sixteenth notes. So that's four notes, each beat of the metronome broken into four. So we broke them into four. Next will be five, that's quintuplets. Let's pass over that one. Into six, that is sixteenth note triplets. Okay, so we're taking each beat of the metronome, breaking it into six. We're getting a little bit quick here. Sixteenth note triplets, I slowed the metronome down five beats per minute, 70 beats per minute, no promises. So I can't sustain that very long. That's getting pretty quick. Great stuff to practice. Great way to count triplets in your head. Triplet, triplet, triplet. So it's a quarter note broken into three. Triplet. Or you could say one triplet. So two syllables in the word triplet and put the beat in front of it. One triplet, two triplet. If you have sixteenth note triplets, that's a quarter note broken into six. You have two groups of three played in double time. So you can still use the triplet, triplet, triplet. It's just, it's double time. Here's how you can apply it. Something I sort of heard Walter Horton do. Going back and forth between the three and four draw, 60 beats per minute using 16th note triplets. I am starting on beat one. The metronome is clicking beats two and four. So I'm playing with the metronome, but I'm not starting with the metronome.